Well, hello, it's been. Um, after reading several books, one is The Faucian Bargain by Steve Deese, and the new one, uh, Rise of the Fourth Reich, and what it says is uh, confronting COVID fascism with a new Nuremberg trial. So this will never happen again. After And Daniel Horowitz was uh, co-writers on that. I read those two. And then um, seeing several Democrats and even Mitch McConnell and others uh, going completely crazy because Kevin McCarthy gave all 41,000 hours of video of the uh, January 6th incident, not an insurrection, uh, they're losing their minds. And they're losing their minds because we found out that the officer was not killed, but the, uh, they got video of him afterwards. Um, they have video... Which makes me so mad, Josh Hawley should be going completely nuts. They accused him of running, and um, when you look at the real video, yes, the police were escorting, the Capitol Police escorting all the senators out, and he was the last one. And moving quickly, because they didn't know what was going on, so no problem there. So, he should... Absolutely, if I was him, Adam uh, Kinzinger, wherever he's hiding now, he's gone. Thank God. He ought to. He ought to just bitch slap him. Um, but they're upset because now we know that the January sixth committee was a sham, a complete sham. And after, and I did audio uh, audible uh, on the rise of the Fourth Reich. I'm so upset with certain hospitals, doctors, nurses, that have lost their freaking minds and caused so many. One of our one of our friends from the cigar shop, Wayne, if if we could have got him out of the hospital, he'd probably still be alive because they weren't feeding him. He was calling he had to call DoorDash or he was trying to to get food. I am so upset. You need to read those two books. The Rise of the Fourth Reich. And Fauci and Bargain's been out for a while, but you need to read that. And and here's the thing about people wearing masks. You can wear your mask just so you know it only helps 1%. That comes out by the CDC. They admitted it. There, there's footnotes, and I'm gonna, I'll redo this and and pull the footnotes that they explain that those masks do nothing for respiratory uh, type of viruses that hit. Nothing. It's you're just looking cool. Putting mask on kids. My doctor won't name his name, but he's in Floyd County. Went to many long ago to the Floyd County uh, School Board and said, "Stop, because eight hours of a mask for a child is is criminal. It they should arrest those school board members. Some of them are gone. There's more that we need to get rid of. All I'm asking is you need to look and open your eyes because I don't trust." any vaccine now I'll, I will not take the flu vaccine because I don't know if the mRNA is in that which has caused damage they don't have no clue what they're doing I'm supposed to maybe get shingle shot I'm going to investigate that to see if the government and Pfizer and Moderna and all those clowns have put something in it that's not supposed to be there call me conspiracy theorist but you know what? Unfortunately, the facts are on my side, not everyone that is just saying, look at me, I'm wearing a mask in a car by myself. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm upset, I'm pissed. Because after reading this and hearing stories of how P 
people were treated, how they were given resenivir, whatever. That black blackballed or blacklisted by the FDA, but we were giving that. Not ivermectin, not hydroxychloroquine. That that did work. They said those were the the terrible drugs. You can't listen to them. Our government has gone completely, and I'm not just blaming Democrats. <laughs> Please, this is goes back, way back. We've allowed this to happen. It is time for for us. I was at I was at a local um, Republican meeting, and I made some comments about some things that happened, and uh, was getting pushed back. And finally, I just said, "Just so you know, you work for us. We're in charge, not you. We're in charge. We got to get the clowns out, both Republicans and Democrats." There's some on both sides that are completely lost their minds. So I'm asking you to start reading, start watching things. Fox News, they're mad at Tucker Carlson because he's actually putting all videos up showing the entire... The, the guy with the horns, you know, the QAnon supposed guy, they've got video of the police escorting him. It helped him get inside the Capitol chambers. I mean, come on. He's spending four years. They need, after all this is done, we need, they need to be released. There's still people there that's never seen a trial, never had an opportunity. Didn't get a chance to have all of the videos available. I'm upset. I'm pissed. It's time for us the United States citizens to say enough's enough because they're going to come up with some other crazy virus and then say oh we got the magical cure Bill Gates Foundation knee deep he wants to reduce the population the World Economic Forum same thing they're crazy because they want to live their little life and make us um, this digital currency they're trying, stop it. Because then that, then total control. Because then they can decide if you can get a, um, a hamburger someplace. They can shut your digital currency off. I'm upset. I have to, I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel, The World According to Vinny. This is Vinny. I'm, I'm going to put it up. And uh, I'm just asking you to Start, literally, please, start educating yourself and quit listening to Fox, CNN, MSNBC, uh, the, stop. You need other sources. And there's plenty out there that tells you the pros and cons of the subject, and then you make a decision based on what you feel is best. About all I can say, yeah, I'm pissed. Get those two books. You will be enraged, just like I am now. Have a good day. This is Vinny, the world according to Vinny. I'm Vinny. Um, just do the best you can. Hang in there. All right. We'll be posting some other stuff soon. Take care.